Brilliant. I'm now here with Steve and Jamie, and I believe um, on the grapevine there's a new film coming out which you're both in. Um, you look a big, big lad, and I've been told that you do a bit of fighting and stuff, so can you tell us a little bit about that first? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a pro uh, cage fighter. Um, I've actually lost two stone for them. I've got a title fight coming up next week, so I've lost two, nearly two stone for that now, I'm fighting at 86. Um, so yeah, it's like I say, it's, it's for a middleweight title against a guy called Sean Lomas. Um, bit of a journeyman, it's going, to be, it's going to be a bit of a war, so, so yeah. Well, I wish you all the best with that, and hopefully uh, you come out with a medal or something like that for it. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Nice. Jamie, um, you're from uh, Channel 4 The Ends, isn't it? Is yeah. that right? Um, can you tell me a little bit about that first? Yeah, of course. Uh, started The Ends uh, two and a half years ago. I uh, had a meeting with uh, Donald McIntyre, and he, uh, he was like, look, you need to sort yourself out, get into acting. Uh, so I went for an audition uh, for The Ends, which was Channel 4 series. Uh, did the first series with them. Got the bug for acting. Luckily enough, uh, there's a second series of that coming out in January and February, uh, and just progress on there really. Uh, did a film called Weekender last year, uh, film called Airborne with uh, Alan Ford, Andy Beckwith, and stuff like that. And then uh, met the Bridging Film Works team. So yeah. Okay, but you look a bit of a rough diamond though. So is your background quite dodgy? Typecast, 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 mate, typecast. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a, li a little bit dodgy. Yeah, I mean, I want. I haven't got a criminal record, so I'm not that dodgy, but it could have ended up that way, definitely, yeah. Okay, so you, both of you guys, you feel like if martial arts weren't around for you now, do you think you could have gone down the dodgy route? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm a dad of three, so I had, okay. had kids quite early, so that put me on the, on the straight and narrow Good. quite early. Um, so, yeah, but without, without you know, an influence, sporting influence in my life, yeah, there's a good possibility that the people I used to hang around with weren't, weren't the most savoury characters in the world, so, you know, quite possibly. Okay, well, you guys know me from the paranormal industry and everything, yeah. and uh, you're a big lad and you're really into it, so I'm going to invite you guys on a ghost hunt with me and I'm going to shit you both up. Um, the, big, the big guys always scare first. So, uh, would you both be up for that? I'd, I'd love to. I'd love to. The timing's right. Absolutely. I, yeah, yeah, I love being shit up. I love being shit up. Hopefully. Sorry? Is anything going to touch us? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to make sure it does. Even if it's just yeah. you, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> promises, promises. Right, yeah. Ian can touch us, but that's about it, isn't it? <laughs> uh, is it down some tunnels, I've heard? Uh, we're going to Draco Tunnels. I'm not going to tell you too much about it, but it, it's all in darkness. It's tunnels. There's a lot of history to it, and it's bloody scary. But I'm going to leave it there. Thanks, guys. Thanks ever so much. Wish you all the best with your movie. And see you soon. Cheers, buddy. See you soon. Nice Cheers. Time.